welcome to Life and Liberty Radio with David Householder. I'm Joshua Zay, and together you and I are taking another step toward freedom, both spiritual and political. So get comfortable, breathe in, and ignite your imagination. Envision a society that is spiritually deep and truly free. It's easy if you try. Father's Day just passed, and it's a pretty complicated relationship between sons and fathers in general. That's sort of the way of the world, because when we grow up as young men, we have to differentiate from our fathers, and the trick is to be able to do that without dishonoring them, because honoring fathers is how we honor ourselves and how we stay in alignment in the world. In America, we're hyper-individualistic, and we tend to think of just our needs and everyone is completely equal, like a bunch of nickels on a table. We just kind of move them around. But the truth is we're a social fabric, and generations bring in different generations, and we relate to one another. And the generation that brings forth another generation then asks for honor and respect in return for loving and supporting and that occasionally breaks down and this is a clip i'm going to be playing here from an american indian or native american film called smoke signals where a young man goes out in search of reconciliation with his father along with a very good friend and there's a a very chilling clip in there and i have to kind of warn you ahead of time there's some pretty intense american indian musical and cathartic kind of language in there and it's just one of those things i think it's something we need to think about how we relate to one another the bible of course says that if we honor our parents our mothers and our fathers life will go well for us which is true because they are the biggest advocates of the next generation when the next generation is basically in line and that doesn't mean that people have to agree with everything or even go the same way or even be participating in the same project. But there is certainly something called honoring the next generation. The Chinese call it filial piety in the Confucian system, and it works really, really well. And no no parents are perfect. My father was certainly not perfect. Great guy, just great guy. But he was as human as, as anyone. And when we learn to look at people in a differentiated way, that everyone is a mixture of good and bad, and we need to honor the entire package and make sort of uh, have grace for those parts that aren't exactly the way we would have them, and also recognizing that our view of our fathers is not 100% accurate. So enjoy this American Indian wisdom, which I'm going to be playing for you, and uh, think deeply about this and meditate about this and ask yourself where you fit in this whole scheme of things. Have you forgiven your father and if you are a parent how are you doing with the next generation how do we forgive our fathers maybe in a dream do we forgive our fathers for leaving us too often or forever when we were little maybe for scaring us with unexpected rage or making us nervous because there never seemed to be any rage there at all? Do we forgive our fathers for marrying or not marrying our mothers? For divorcing or not divorcing our mothers? And shall we forgive them for their excesses of warmth or coldness? Shall we forgive them for pushing or leaning, for shutting doors for speaking through walls, or never speaking, or never being silent. forgive our fathers in our age or in theirs or in their deaths saying it to them or not saying it 
if we forgive our fathers what is left. So put some sunshine and water on these fresh ideas and keep taking that next step toward freedom. Join us every weekday for the latest life and liberty ideas. The views expressed on this program are purely those of the presenter and not necessarily those of the advertisers or organizations or persons with which the presenter has a relationship. Please click on the Amazon banner at the top of the life and liberty page and consider doing all your online shopping through this portal. See you tomorrow.